Hi everybody, how are you guys doing today? In this video we'll be creating these tiles with our surface inks from Bruno Monroe, I think it is. I never could remember. These are all nice and permanent, stuck in the oven and we'll go through them making each and every one of them. I think the video is about 23-24 minutes long. So if you're interested in making these, stay here and we'll do a lot of chitty chatty. One small piece in voice or in voiceover and then that's about it. But we'll create each and every one together. Hope to see you there and please subscribe, like, and give me a comment. Bye guys. Hi everybody, how's everybody doing today? I just wanted to quickly show you that I have my glass mat and what I'm going to do in order to work in my video today. Some people might be annoyed that I'm not set up and ready to go. But that's not the way I run my channel. Sometimes I just have to turn the camera on myself, just flip it on, press record, and literally make myself stop and create. So what I'm doing is I have the um, um, the little mat that belongs on the side. I'm going to put that underneath so that I don't lose it. Actually it's not sticking but I'm going to keep it there anyways. I'm not going to be working on my glass today because I'm going to be using surface res surface sprays and with my surface sprays I like my sprays and the extra to go onto my fabric. You know, if you've been here for a while on my channel, you know that I like to get painty, painty, painty fabric so that I can either use them as curtains, use them in my jewelry, use them on journals, use them as embellishments and all sorts of stuff. I have my tiles. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to grab my sprays and then we're going to get to spraying. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. Is there only five? I swear there was eight. Oh, six. I swear I had eight. I'm not sure. I have to go back and check now. I need to look. But that's what I have right, right, right now. Okay, so what we're going to do is make some tiles. I have two already made. Um, those are in the kitchen. I didn't feel like running over there and grabbing them. I'm just going to set these out like this so that any of the extra spray, the spray away, so that that will hit. I want to make sure my mat's covered. Even though I know I can wipe it, I'm taking care of that baby. Oh, and one of the dogs farted. Holy moly. So anyways, um, not sure how many towels we're going to get done. But I'm only putting these out so that the extra spray away, whatever that's called, will hit whatever towels are on the side. Because this stuff sprays. It really does spray All right. So we're going to use our surface sprays. And this stuff needs to be shaken up really good. Okay, so once we're done spraying, like I mentioned, I'm not sure how many we're going to make right now. Once I'm done spraying and creating, then they have to go um, into a little toaster oven. The degrees on the toaster oven is not yet released, so I don't know exactly. I did talk to, I don't know if his name is Brutus Monroe, but I talked to the assistant to the company of these sprays on Facebook. Um, and she said that Brutus 
if that's his name, or Christopher, I'm not sure which one it is. He likes to bake his tiles in a simple, um, what is it called? Toaster. I have a simple toaster. The problem is that they're supposed to be baked. First she said 30 minutes, and then she said an hour and 30 minutes. So I'm not sure. So that all needs to be figured out by him when he does a, a video on the tiles. He still has not done a video on the tiles on a how-to. Not very many have very many people have these sprays yet, so there's not that many videos out there. But I'll figure it out. Will I use my toaster, my mini toaster? I don't think so. I really don't think so because my mini toaster will only fit two. And I don't want to do two and two and two. So, me personally, and I'm not saying you, I'm not saying for you guys to do this, but me personally, I'm going to use my oven in my kitchen and that's a personal choice. These need to be shaken up really good because there's um, stuff down there. And this stuff will stay in your fingers for days. So if you want to put on some gloves, go right ahead. Okay, so this will not set. These tiles will not set with just a heat gun. That will not happen. I tried it. I tested it. If you want to go ahead and try it, give it a go. But it doesn't work, and it didn't work for me. So that's why I reached out to the company and they told me to use a mini toaster oven or a toaster oven. You know what, I think we'll do all of them because that's the way I like to work anyways. And that there was the, I think it's called phone book, yes. You might want to work on a surface that is nice and flat. I'm not going to. I am randomly spraying, kids. I live dangerously. Okay, so once I bake them, I'll come back and show you guys what they look like baked. Once I bake them also, I have another technique that I'm going to do. I just need to find a box that I haven't recycled or given to my neighbor. I'm going to use the Distress Resist Spray and we're going to do something with that on maybe one or two. You see what's happening? We're getting cells. And they'll constantly pop up. They don't pop up every time, but they pop up sometimes, most of the time. Are you guys too close? Let's see if I can get you out further. No, that's about it for me. a little bit more yellow because it's getting lost in there and some of it's turning green of course. Oh I like the way that one's looking. I don't even want to mess with that one. What needs what? Yell at me, tell me. I don't know if we use this one yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll tell you the colors in a second. I'm cleaning off the little nib. That does need to be cleaned every single time. I'm looking for spots. Oh, such a pretty color. If you're going to get a 
color that you're going to be really happy with is this color here, which is the Oz. It's spraying kind of odd because I didn't wipe it. There we go. There we go. It's spraying now. See that? So cool. I said I wasn't going to mess with this one, but I did. Alright. So these will dry up. Of course I can bring out the heat gun and start heating them if I please. And we'll do just a few just to so that you guys can see what happens. So if you don't like the sound of the heat gun, please mute. Okay, for this part I chose to actually mute the video. <laughs> I didn't want to drive you guys insane. I actually muted the video and sped it up two times, which is not a lot. So I decided to do a voiceover for this because the dry machine was insanely loud. Okay, so what you'll see here is even though I mentioned in the beginning that you cannot set the tile or you can't set the paint with the heat, sometimes if you're lucky you'll get even more cells when you um, heat it with the heat gun. An experiment that I do want to do, um, but I don't have any more tiles left, but eventually I'll get some more tiles. So I want to torch and see what happens. I don't know if it'll catch on fire or what will happen, but that's something I'll probably bring the camera outside to do. Um, but yeah, I'm just moving the paints around with the heat gun. And um, you may see me moving a little, a little faster than normal here. Um, and I do see a little glare from my light. I apologize for that, but I'm no pro. I just like to create and share with you guys. So I'm tilting the tiles, trying to get more cells um, to erupt. And some do pop up. And eventually I think that I even bring some of the tiles upwards so that you guys can see. Now, another thing I want to tell you guys now that I'm doing the voiceover is you can, if you mess up, or if you make mud, or if you don't like what you see, you can wipe away. You can definitely wipe the stuff away before you stick it either in your toaster oven or before you stick it in your conventional oven. Whichever one you personally choose to do, that's your choice. I'm not telling you to do either one. Like I mentioned earlier, the person that made these, the creator of these sprays, there we go, now I bring it up. The creator of these sprays has not done a demo, an actual, actual DIY how-to demo review or anything on the tiles yet. I'm sure he's going to. You see some of those some of those paints I was able to move enough to where I got more cells. But the reason I brought it up to the camera was so that you guys can see a clearer picture and have fun and see them projecting themselves up and out. <laughs> you gonna hear me breathe a little or a lot. So yeah, I wanted to bring this video to you guys much sooner. But it's my birthday week, and I took a little vacation. And I've been a, a YouTube watcher lately, cleaning my desk, making sure I keep this um, Tonic Studio matte glass matte clean. And I do see some spray over spray over there. But yeah, that that's what I'm doing here. You can see I'm moving it. I don't mind. Them, the colors dripping over to the edge. I like that. But also remember this: this can these this what I'm showing you guys can be 
as is, done like this, but you do have to set it in an oven. I'm going to mention that a million times. It does stain your fingers for a few days, but I am going to mention that this can be the beginning of a background. And then you can put whatever you want on top. Look at that one. That one is gorgeous. You'll have your favorites. I'll have my favorites. Look at that. It looks like fire popping up on the side right there. I quit on that one because it started to smoke. That's another thing. It does it does start to smoke if you hold the heat gun too close or for too long. That's why I end up putting them down. Look how pretty. So pretty. And then I come back and I show you um, the sidewalk white color, which I'm not fond of. You guys might be. My camera wasn't on on the first take, but then I had to take a second take, and I explain that in the next clip. I'll catch you guys later, and my voiceover is done, and so is the heat gun. Bye! I think that's enough. I can barely handle the sound. <laughs> so, you've seen some of them transform, some of them, the cells come up, pop out. They're beautiful. You've seen me spray each and every single one of them. And every single one of them is unique and different and freaking gorgeous. Now, once I bake them, I don't know how shiny they are. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll find out and I will come back 100% for sure and show you guys what they look like. Um, I apologize for all that heating, but I wanted it well done. There's still some popping out, some cells popping out here, and that'll probably continue happening. And, um, yeah. So, happy to have you. Happy to do this video. So happy to have received those surface sprays as a gift from um, Pop and Stacy. Thank you all so very much, and my next video will be me opening up gifts for my birthday, March 6th. It just passed, like, a few hours ago. Um, I've been just busy and just life took over. Look how pretty that's becoming. There's like a, a hint of lavender in there. So pretty. So look at that. These are going to be gorgeous. And then I think I'm going to dip the edges in gold or something like that. But we're going to do a few th things on top. Stencils, resist spray hand painting probably. We'll see. Um, these are going to be splattered around my house. So I'm so happy to have played with these. I really, really wanted them and happy I have them. Um, and we'll see how they turn out. So I'll catch you guys later. Love you bunches and bye. I didn't have the camera rolling. Sorry guys. I just shared with you guys the colors. Let me do it again. Cornflower sidewalk which we didn't use. I did use but the camera was off and that is there but you guys didn't see me do it. Oz which is gorgeous. Phone book. Mm, wagon and Rouge. I don't like this one too much. It's okay and for the demo for the video I'm going to spray it again. It's okay. Like, for instance, if I want to break this up, I'm going to use this, um, what color is it again? Sidewalk. See, it's not the best one. It, like, kind of does that. I don't think that they have this particular formula worked out yet. This one, this one here. All the rest are fine. Um, since I don't like it too much, I really don't want to spray it. But let me find a spot that needs a little help. Right there. You see, it kind of whites it out. I don't think that this one is the best one. I might even wipe that off because that's all that one does. So, do I like that one? Not very much. I think I'm going to wipe it off. A, a, a good amount of it. Yeah, see, I don't like that sidewalk too much. You guys might like it. I don't like sidewalk too much. See, so for instance, that's what it did there. It just did a big blob. So that one I think they do need to work out a little bit. But the rest are gorgeous, and I'll be back when I stick this in the oven. Might be tomorrow, so 
this video might not come out for another three days. But you guys won't know that because of YouTube magic and Movie Maker that I use. Alrighty, talk to you guys later. Bye! Hi everybody! So today I baked the tiles. And um, I baked it at 375 for less than five minutes. And actually, that was too long. Five minutes. And the temperature was too high at 375. So I'm definitely gonna have to play. I am definitely gonna have to play around with the heat. I'm kind of thinking maybe 275 for maybe seven, eight minutes. But hey, we're gonna wait on the manufacturer who made these, the creator that made these inks, and see what he says. I was just going on just me on, and plus. I was standing in the kitchen the whole time. I may sound a little strange. I just finished choking on some water. <coughs> so that's what they all look like. They're gorgeous. Very, very pretty. So in the next video, what we will be doing is getting a few of them and creating art on top not sure what oh look at that one that one looks like like a stormy night right there you see my orchid such a pretty orchid and you go pick up all those oranges outside but yeah that's that's what we have really really pretty and I'll be back. My next video maybe will be Happy Mail. <clears throat> and then after that maybe we'll create on top of these. So I'll catch you later. Bye.